Hi, this is Tracy, and we are going to start talking about growth and development, milestone attainment, and alterations in milestone attainment. So as you can see from this slide, we're going to be covering chapters 36 through 40 in your Perry Hockenberry Loudermilk and Wilson Maternal Child Nursing Care book. You also need to refer to chapter 42, page 1183, and that will discuss and give you information regarding Down syndrome as well as chapter 55, page 716, and that is where you will find information about cerebral palsy. So as you are reading through your book, uh, you t things that you need to take note of are areas that concern promoting optimal growth and development. Um, you, we will be discussing that as far as the infant goes, the toddler, the preschool, age child and then finally the school age child and the adolescent child. So when you are looking at um, promoting optimal growth and development um, as far as biologic development um, that's going to include uh, proportional change, sensory changes, uh, the maturation of the systems, fine and gross motor development, and as far as each different age group, we're going to be looking at Theris, um, Erickson, and then Piaget. We'll also take a look at um, how each specific group develops body image as well as their social development. The thing to remember with infants is that their temperament um, will oftentimes influence social interaction. We're going to be looking at specific psychosocial tasks. How their language develops and the increasing of comprehension. We also will be paying attention to um, effective discipline. Nutrition is also going to be a very important part when we are looking at how children develop. And so we want to be conscious about uh, nutrition and the specific needs, uh, rest and sleep activities. We want to look at injury prevention and the importance of regular dental exams uh, throughout their uh, throughout the childhood. Um, we will be taking a look at alterations in development. We'll also take an, an in-depth look at um, child maltreatment, which includes physical abuse or neglect, emotional abuse, um, or sexual abuse. And we will look at specific characteristics of the parents or the abusers. We want to discuss how we're going to identify abuse and the importance of being um, mandatory reporters and reporting incidents of sexual or physical abuse neglect of children. We know that this abuse does occur across the lifespan, so it doesn't just pertain to children or pediatric clients. It does pertain to adults, older adults, middle-aged adults, but specifically in this pediatric unit we are just going to look at children. With the utilization and implementation of PageBurst, you will um, note that I will share highlighted information for you to make sure that you take a look at and read. So I'm going to kind of end this presentation now. We'll discuss more in the classroom and we'll continue talking about uh, the maturation of systems. We're going to look across uh, the spectrum from the infant to the adolescent and how that occurs. And we will kind of pick up with there uh, when we meet in class. If you have questions about what we're talking about so far, please make sure you email or ask in class and we will discuss them further. Thank you.